Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my day two coverage of the PSVR. Now, I didn't get a chance to do a lot yesterday. I only had a couple hours. Today, I've got all day to mess with the PlayStation VR, which is awesome, all right? And the first thing that I want to address, because it was a big issue yesterday during the setup process and everything that I was doing with PlayStation VR, was the fogging of the lenses. If you remember, yesterday I kept saying, every time I put this on, there's condensation in the lenses within a minute. And now it's all fogged up and I don't know what to do. Uh, but then as I played it more and more over the night, it didn't bother me anymore, right? Well, guess what? They People have done research. It took a day because everyone got their PSVRs and they figured it out. There's a temperature differential between the PSVR and your body temperature, right? Obviously, we humans run at what? Uh, 98 degrees or whatever? And this obviously isn't. In fact, when you're using this, at first it's cold because it's been off. It's a peripheral that's off. There's no electricity running through it. So the solution to create uh, or to eliminate any kind of condensation is to turn on the PSVR headset about 30 minutes before you're going to use it. And apparently what that's supposed to do is warm up the screens so that when you actually put on the PSVR afterward, the screens are warm and it's not doing a cold to warm differential on the glass. Similar to how if you're in a car and you notice if it's either warm in the car but it's cold outside, the, the window will fog up. That's exactly what was happening with my PSVR last night. So, this is how you fix it. It just needs to warm up, and then it's not an issue anymore, right? So, what I'm going to do right now is see, because I've had this on now for about an hour before I'm even using it, and I'm going to test it, put it on, and we're going to see if it fogs up or not, okay? Now, in addition, today, one difference from what I did last night, tonight I'm going to be using my Astro A40 headphones, all right? These are the headphones that came with the Astro A40 wired headphones years back i've been using them for a million years they are just a standard stereo jack as you can see they're three, three millimeter jack and i've plugged them into the psvr little audio adapter and i'm gonna see how they feel reason being uh the, the headphones that i used last night which is the earbuds that came with the psvr they were fine they actually sounded good they actually had like simulated surround sound in them from the 3d processor uh audio processor that's inside the psvr uh, box over there but I hate earbuds. Earbuds actually bother my ears, okay? So that's why I'm going to try to use these. Now, here's another conundrum we're going to try to solve right now live. How do you put this damn thing on your head and then put this on? How do you... You know what I mean? We're going to have to try to figure this out. So maybe I'll have to wear them oddly. Let's figure it out. But first, before I do that, let's get the, the VR on and let's see if it fogs up. So here we go. <clears throat> So, let's uh, extend the headband. Feels like I'm about to have brain surgery when I put this thing on. Put my nose into here. Okay, here we are. Okay. Tighten it a little bit. And now I'm adjusting the screen. So, here's the deal. It's, for me... Okay, World War Tunes, which you can see on the screen right now, looks very focused. It's that text in the middle. But the things on the edges of the screen don't look focused to me at all. They actually look to me like they're blurry on the edges of the screen. So what I'm going to do is grab my controller here. And people actually said that there's some kind of a setup option to maybe mess with this under devices. And I'm going to see if I could find it and figure this out. Let's take a look here. Devices. Um, what would it be? PlayStation VR. Okay. What do we got here? We got screen brightness, screen size. Check out, check how to put on the VR headset. Adjust the position, the PlayStation camera, the tracking lights. Measure, this is the one. Supposedly it's eye to eye distance. Measure the distance between your eyes. The distance between your eyes will be measured to optimize. We'll use the PlayStation camera to take a picture of your face. Stand close to the camera and then select OK. Oh shit. So I can't I gotta take off the PSVR for this. Okay, hold on. Apparently we're gonna measure my face. Okay. See how this goes. <laughs> I'm gonna use the controller here. Two feet, it says. Two feet. Um I should probably measure two feet. Hold on, I have a ruler. Give me a second here. I have a ruler.
I've got it. Here it is. My big ass ruler. Okay. So two feet. This is exactly two feet long, actually. It's one, exactly two feet. So let me measure this. This is interesting. <clears throat> Let me get rid of the ruler. <clears throat> okay. Let me uh, minimize my webcam so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? People are saying that looked like a level. You're absolutely right. You're very observant. That is a ruler slash level that I had in Leanna's office. Okay, what does it say? On the next screen, set where the center of your eyes are. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's the center of one eye right there. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful brown eye. I must say, I have some of the best eyes I've ever seen. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Here we go. Hopefully this works well. All right. Perfectly in the center. Perfectly in the center, baby. All right. And... There we go. Boom! 67 millimeters. So they adjusted it by 4 millimeters. Look at that. All right. Now let's see. Let's see if that's improved. Let's actually see if that's improved it. And I'll, I'll make my webcam bigger again. Shit. Screwed up. I misclicked. There we go. Let's see if this improved it. Maybe it did. <clears throat> it is slightly better. It's not perfect. But it actually is better. It is clearer for me. The only thing is the upper left-hand corner of my screen is a little smudged, but I actually think that's a smudge on the lens. I don't think that that's the camera being out of focus at all. I think it's a smudge on the lens. This is looking good. That worked a lot. So, oh man, I gotta recommend. If you have the PSVR and it looks blurry around the edges, dude, that just worked perfectly. Let me go through the menus now. Oh, man, this looks much better. Oh, dude, that was perfect. That's exactly what you need to do. Wow, okay, I cannot recommend that more. Use that eye-to-eye -eye adjustment. That was great. It's only slightly blurry a little bit on the edges now. It's way better than it was. Okay, so now the daunting task that I'm going to attempt to do is put on... What the fuck are they? This pair of headphones while wearing the PlayStation VR. This could be interesting, because I don't know how the fuck this is going to work. Um, Alright, let me think about this. I probably want to make it as, as large as possible, because it has to go over the bands. I don't think this is going to work. Let me see. It worked! Holy shit! Okay, I made it the largest possible size, and it's working. Now, where's the adapter? Hold on. I gotta find the volume adapter, because that volume actually sounds pretty low. Here it is. No, that's not it. What the fuck is that? I can't see what I'm doing, but here it is. Alright, so this is up. I think one's up and one's down, these two buttons. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. It actually fits. How does it look? I don't know how it looks. I can't see. <laughs> Hopefully it looks good. Um... The one thing people were complaining about yesterday as well, fuck, I can't see where I am, is uh, they were saying that the camera didn't appear to be centered. Um, only thing I can do about that... Seems fine, right? Hello! Looks fine. 
Medium, whoa. Whoa, medium is cool. So you guys can't see what I'm seeing, all right? I'll describe what I'm seeing. Um, so when you adjust screen size, which is what I'm doing right now, it does three different things, okay? If I do small screen size, it's basically a little a screen that's within the PSVR, and it moves back, it moves with my head, okay? It's like locked in front of my eyes, so if I move my head, it's still directly in front. If I go to medium, it now becomes almost like an IMAX movie screen, where I'm looking here, if I look farther to the right, I can see 4.05 p.m. in the corner there, and I can see the, the dashboard. If I look over here, I see the other side of the dashboard, and if I sit like this, I can basically see the whole thing. Now, if I go large, oh my god! Now it is like I'm watching an IMAX movie screen. It's huge. I feel like I'm sitting in a movie theater in front of a giant movie screen. This is awesome. I actually can't wait to try to watch like a movie or uh, maybe like, like WWE Network or something on this. This is going to be wild, man. It is really cool. It's like it's being in front of a giant screen. That is sweet. All right. For all intents and purposes, I'll probably just go to small. Makes it easier. Okay. Um, alright, so as you can see, I bought a lot of stuff, too. Last night, I went up through and I bought Here They Lie, I bought Job Simulator, I got Until Dawn Rush of Blood, I got Thumper, Batman Arkham VR, PlayStation VR Worlds, and I got two free things, Hatsune Miku VR Future Live Demo, and I also got World War Tunes, okay? Uh, both of those were free, that's the demo, and this is a free-to-play game, but you spend, uh, you buy currency to spend in the game, one of those free-to-play, but of course they nickel and dime you. When you play the game, right? Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do... What I'd like to do today is go back into the demo disc... And explore some more demos before we actually get into some of the meatier stuff... Like checking out these full games or whatever. So, that's what I'm going to do next. Hope you enjoyed this setup video. And now what I need to do is actually position my cursor here... So I can actually start and stop making videos. I'm also going to uh, resize my face cam up here. Hopefully that's a good size for everyone. Alright. And we're going to start.